Hi, hi. Welcome back to another episode on the Healthy Wisdom Series with Dr. Jan Chen. All right, Healthy Wismers, today we're going to introduce the fifth guiding principle in the principles of good governance and how it applies to our lives. Hopefully, at the end of this episode, we will be able to bring some positive changes to your day to day. So let's dive right in to the principle of accomplishment. The board accepts its responsibility for the organization accomplishing its purpose to its principles, stakeholders, regulators, and beyond. And so must understand the strategic issues and the organization's vision and business model to resolve these issues. Now, I know there were a lot of words in there, a lot of different players in there, but when we kind of zero in on the keywords again, you're going to see that this is actually, I would say, actually one of the most important ones to give us a direction as to where we are going, you know, in our lives. The principle of accomplishment um, will be covered in three different areas that um, today I'm hoping we'll be able to cover so that uh, we can have you guys think about it from that perspective of where are we going with this, all right? So one of the bases in the way that I kind of took from, you know, reading the definition is is in, it zeroed in on the words accept its responsibility. Because what does accepting responsibility mean in your life? Accepting responsibility is technically, essentially, it's taking ownership of your life. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All of it, right? So how do we take ownership or accept the responsibility? Well, that's what we're going to cover in the next three points that we're going to talk about. The first one is you got to understand that life is chaos, right? Life is made up of pretty much kinetic energy. And I know I've alluded to Murphy's Law plenty of times, but that's pretty much what it is. If something's going to happen that is going to be challenging or there's a problem in your area, well, you know what? It's going to happen all at once. It just feels like such a an overwhelming experience. But you know what? Actually, day to day, everybody is experiencing some level of Murphy's Law. But that's okay. It, it kind of makes sense because life is not supposed to be static. Life is ever changing. Life is dynamic right? Life is not just happening to us, which is what a lot of people tend to think of it. You know, all these challenges and problems that we encounter from day to day, we just feel like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Why, why is, why me? Right? But if you change that, just that one word from life is happening to us, what is happening to us, to the word for, life is happening for us, what is this happening for me to be able to see and learn from? Then it really changes our perspective. But again, I'm not going to tell you to not, you know, um, go through your go through, right? What I am going to encourage you to do is, you know what, after you take your three minutes or a day or a few days to feel sorry about the situation for what happened, for what you've done, for what some other person has done to you, once you've done your, you know, sort of feeling, you know, and, 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 and going through all the different emotions, because you should do that for your own health and mental health, um, then then I want you to actually go through your go through and, you know, remind yourself not to stay there because it's when we actually stay there and we become sort of locked into that victim mentality, that's when it becomes a problem, right? So if we take the perspective that we understand that, you know what, life is not always going to be sweet. Life is going to pack its own little punches and it's going to come at you. Um, and I really like that example um, on uh, in the in the in the movie Bridesmaids. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but if you haven't, I actually encourage you to see it. It's a really funny movie um, about this group of ladies who are, 
each character is um, a uh, one of the bridesmaids in um, one of the main characters um, uh, who's the maid of honor, her best friend's wedding. And uh, at the like sort of, I think the last third of the movie, you know, uh, one of the bridesmaids um, literally punches the maid of honor and um, because she was feeling so sorry for herself at the time and you know nothing was going right in her life and she literally hit like rock bottom so one of her bridesmaids who had become um, uh, one of her closer friends um, she basically said you know well this is life this is life and she punches her and literally like just I guess she's trying to wake her up you know to to the fact that you know nothing in life that's worthwhile is going to be easy. And so if you have to go through your go through, you do it, but don't stay there. And of course, in the end, um, she does come through and uh, she does uh, learn that, um, you know, it, that, that I guess that turning point in her life was a very important um, milestone. But, you know, you do have to, you do have to come out of the shell much like a butterfly uh, cannot, um, you know, be birthed until the caterpillar has, you know, shed it, it's, and, and it's gone through its molting stage um, to become the butterfly, right? Um, that's, that's actually another uh, good metaphor, you know, if you actually uh, sort of um, break the chrysalis, uh, and, and the shell, um, the butterfly actually cannot um, evolve from there, and the uh, chrysalis will die. So it's, it's when life is hitting you, I guess, in your most painful spot, we have to remember that it is trying to make us stronger, right? I know sometimes, you know, the things that are happening are much, much more uh, emotionally challenging. But if we can go through it, work through it, and come out stronger, then we are going to have grown through the process. And that in itself, I think, is probably one of life's most valuable lessons. But when we take the perspective that we have to remember to take that perspective and understand, you know, when you are able to be more objective about whatever situation is happening to you, that life is happening because there is a greater purpose for you, then I, I almost feel like, you know, there is a little bit more of a uh, breathing room, you know, uh, you can take a breath and go, huh, okay. I'm going to go through this and I'm going to work with this and I'm going to come out on the other side of it and then I'm going to actually do something with it. In essence, we also want to remember that life is actually whatever is happening to you today. And this is one of the Buddhist principles. Um, whatever is happening to you today is practically the sum of all the choices you have made in the past. Right. You know, some people like to call it karma, but I like to actually, you know, kind of steer away from the word karma because there are so many sort of different ways to interpret that word. I like to see it as the sum of all the choices that we've made. You know, we're not always going to be making the, the, the good choices. Sometimes, you know, some of the choices we make are probably, you know, not that great. Maybe they're bad decisions, you know, but in the in the time that you were making that choice. Please don't be so hard on yourselves because, you know, we do our best with what we know at the time. Right. And so um, it, it's not it's good, bad, it's ugly, but it really depends on which angle you're you're kind of looking at the issue. Right. So, for example, you know, parents, you know, parents, you know, always, you know, uh, begin by reacting to, you know, something that their children have done you know, maybe to embarrass them in public or not necessarily on purpose, but kids will do whatever they do. I mean, they're just children, right? Like, you know, especially the young toddlers, they don't know any better. But when parents react in a way that is, 
is not necessarily um, it, to teach, but you know they're reacting because they're reacting to um, uh, uh, maybe like a past emotion, you know, that they have experienced themselves, and they're feeling embarrassed about the situation, and you know they don't know, you know, if others are going to look at them from a different, you know, sort of um, angle or you know stare at them and be like, okay, you know, you get a hold of your child, you know, like that's that's a reaction, a very reactive mode right, that we kind of go into as parents. And unless you have that practice time to stand back and go, whoa, okay, hang on, I'm not going to react to this. I'm going to take like one second to who, who breathe it out and go, okay, 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 let's, let's, let's handle the situation rather than react to the situation. Let's see if we can actually, you know, work with the situation and, and make it a better um, outcome, in, essentially. So another way to look at the sum of all the choices that we've made in life, you know, another example is um, I, I went back and I thought to myself, wow, you know, um, think to yourself, like, you know, when you were deciding which high school, you know, to go to, right, which school to go to, right? When you made that decision, you made a choice, good, bad, it's hard to say, right? But when you went to that high school that you have decided to go to, um, you look at the environment, like who, who were the people that you hung out with? Who were your closest friends? And where are they today, right? That forms that part of the choice that you made to go to that high school. And then we fast forward and we look at the next stage in your life where, you know, university and or college, you know, like, which college or university did you decide you were going to attend and did you make it? And if you did make it, again, observe, think, think back to who were those people that you actually became friends with? Who did you, you know, um, who became part of your network? Um, what were they interested in? What were, were the things that you were interested in? You know, because we are going to be influenced by that. And then you fast forward, and if you have moved beyond, you know, into the workforce or, you know, a certain profession, you know, and, or did some more schooling, you know, look at that circle and see how your growth has been um, shaped by those choices that you made. Because if you had two different high schools or two different schools, um, universities, colleges, that you had a choice to, you know, uh, decide which one to attend, each of those choices would have led you to a different path, right? And so I, I thought to myself, wow, that's, that's kind of incredible because my life could have been a totally different ball game if I had made the choice um, of going to a different high school than the one that I chose to go to. Ironically, I think I would have met some friends that I had met later on in life but at an earlier stage. And it, it's kind of weird because maybe, maybe because, you know, of the change in the timing by which we had met, maybe the circumstances would have been different. Maybe um, the friendships that I would have made would have been different. Maybe the relationships that I got into could have been different. Maybe my grades could have been different. Like all these things are variable, right? So life is ever changing and very dynamic. So think of that. Think about all the choices that you've made in your life. And, and, you know, once you evaluate it, then you can go, oh, wow, that's interesting because there, there must have been something that instinctively made you choose one over the other. And I like to think of that as, you know, your, your own gut instincts you know, sort of sixth sense, if you want to call it that, um, that that was able to kind of point you in one direction versus the other, because it is at the end trying to teach you something, right? Which which kind of guides us into the second area that I wanted us to explore, right? So the first one being understand that life is happening for us, not to us, and that life is a dynamic, ever changing piece of that puzzle. And the second one is this is this is a very famous one that honestly I didn't invent because uh Steve Stephen Covey said it best in the seven habits of um highly effective people. Um, it has been taught worldwide.